When natural disasters strike, a one doctor jumps on a plane and joins the relief efforts. Dr. Martina Fucus is the founder of the Real Medicine Network. Uh, she is uh, with the foundation, and she's here to talk about some of her relief efforts for uh, the disasters that we've seen. Number one is Myanmar, and you have been working to help the people there with your network across, uh, across the world. Tell us what you are hearing out of that country right now. We actually do have partners on the ground. Mm -hmm. right now and they report that the number of deaths is severely underreported. They said at least 200,000 people have died. 200,000 people. Now the U.S. media is getting a uh, 30,000, something like that. So this is the uh, information out of that country, mm -hmm. 200,000. 200,000. And, you know, I have started the um, foundation, Real Medicine Foundation, after the tsunami. Mm -hmm. And I just know everybody, everybody who is reported missing right now will probably be, be dead. And um, right now there's about 1.5 million people at risk um, to die within the next 10 days. Um, of hunger, of thirst, of diseases. So if we don't work fast, this will be a huge human, a humanitarian. Now today, the first U.S. shipment of supplies, uh, medicine, food, were accepted in Myanmar. Uh, what, so these people are desperate. What is the situation like there on the ground for the victims? See what you have to see. People have mothers, children, families. They have not had water. They have not food for more than a week now. There is, the water is contaminated. There's corpses everywhere. People have horrible injuries and there is no help so if nothing happens fast you know you cannot survive you cannot survive that long without water without food without medical supplies now the world appears wanting to be coming to wanting to come to aid of these people in Myanmar it's the government the military government that has not been letting some of the help in why is that are you getting any word from your people on the ground there see what we have we have a partner organization right now that we have identified that have a network there they have 125 field workers and they procure local supplies um, and they reach the people and they have they had this network before so we can really get the supplies there and see this is the key a lot of uh, aid is sitting at the borders but we have a way to get to get it in so anybody who can uh, support us to help there we can guarantee through our networks we have a network of friends helping friends helping friends volunteers around the world and we identify um, people on the ground that actually can report from the ground and can make the work happen on the ground. So how can people who are watching, how can people help? What are you asking for? Are you asking for food? Are you asking for supplies? Money? What? What we need is funds. We need funds most of all and what we can gu uh, guarantee anybody who emails to us, it's info at realmedicinefoundation.org uh, who, who contributes and emails to us, we will supply um, reports of the work we are doing and I can personally guarantee and our track re uh, record with Real Medicine Foundation shows that we under promise and over deliver. We have always kept our word and we can make sure that anything that um, people contribute for us to help on the ground will get there. We'll make sure we have a link on the KUSI website. Let's talk a little bit about this uh, new disaster that we're just getting word about this morning in China. The big uh, seven magnitude earthquake that uh, has left as many as 5,000 people dead that they're saying so far in just one province alone. They're trying to dig out from under schools that have collapsed. Hundreds of children are trapped. Um, this is the prime type of a situation that you step in to help. What must be going on there right now? It's just complete despair. You know, I mean, just imagine you are a mother and you know your kids are in school and they are somewhere buried there. And, you know, you might hear the screams and you might hear the cries and there's nothing you can do. And, you know, if you make it personal, and this is what, um, you know, what we are doing when we are helping, make it personal. Imagine it's somebody you love that you know you can't get out and you know if you're not fast and if you can't get help fast then this person is for sure going to die and you know what we have seen in pakistan for example after the earthquake in october 2005 many people end up not only being dead but being paralyzed you know so imagine somebody is stuck there and, and it's just you know the injuries are horrible and dr fuchs you are a pediatrician uh, you work out of the los angeles area what what got you started why did you start this foundation 
I helped to work in the tsunami relief efforts after the December 2004 tsunami, and I hadn't never done this before. Um, but I couldn't let go of the images of the kids on television, CNN, CNN.com, all over the world. And I just didn't have a choice. It was a personal decision. I didn't have a choice then to help. And I helped to build a small children's clinic in one of the refugee camps in southern Sri Lanka and helped about 1,000 families at that time and made the promise to continue to help. And it's very important to me to keep my word and out of this work in southern Sri Lanka in this destruction at the Indian Ocean um, grew the Real Medicine Foundation. Now we work in 11 countries. Uh, we have our third anniversary in August, so it's very young, but we have been working with very high impact. And as I said, we have this network of friends, helping friends, helping friends around the world. Well, your focus right now is in Myanmar. And for more information on how to donate and how to make a difference, you can go to KUSI.com, and we will put you in touch with Dr. Fuchs. Thank you very much for coming and sharing, and best of luck with your uh, mission. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doctor.